Welcome to Two Projects. In this video, we are going to explain the project Deep Transfer Learning Based Parkinson's Disease Detection Using Optimized Feature Selection. Introduction Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disorder characterized by a reduction in dopamine levels, leading to symptoms such as tremors, slowness of movement, and muscle stiffness. It primarily affects the basal ganglia responsible for movement and coordination control. Parkinson's disease diagnosis is challenging, often relying on clinical observations rather than definitive tests. Early detection is crucial for effective management, but there is a lack of specific diagnostic tests, making it challenging to identify the disease in its early stages. Early detection of Parkinson's disease allows for better symptom management and the potential to delay disease progression. Finger tremors and handwriting changes known as micrographia can be early indicators. However, traditional diagnostic methods may not effectively capture these subtleties. So this project leverages the power of deep learning, specifically convolutional neural networks, CNNs, to analyze handwriting patterns for Parkinson's disease detection. Deep learning has shown exceptional accuracy in classification tasks and its application in medical fields interpreting data like X-rays and MRI scans has proven advantageous. The primary goal of this project is to develop a deep learning based system for Parkinson's disease detection using handwriting data. By training a model on handwritten samples from both affected and non-affected individuals, the project aims to achieve accurate and early detection. This innovative approach has the potential to revolutionize Parkinson's disease detection, providing a non-invasive and efficient method that can be widely beneficial in healthcare, especially for early intervention and improved patient outcomes. Object of the project so, as I mentioned earlier, our goal is to create a Parkinson's detection method that is non-invasive and prioritizes patient comfort. By incorporating deep learning and handwriting analysis, we aim to overcome current diagnostic limitations, ensuring a user-friendly approach to enhance accessibility for individuals undergoing Parkinson's assessments. And we are utilizing cutting-edge algorithms such as VGT19, Inception V3, and ResNet50 to extract features from handwriting. The primary focus is on optimizing accuracy beyond traditional methods. By leveraging these advanced algorithms, we aim to improve the precision of Parkinson's detection, providing a more effective and reliable diagnostic tool. The features extracted from the handwriting are utilized to train machine learning models like k-nearest neighbors, support vector machines, etc. The performance of these models is compared to highlight the effectiveness of our approach in developing a more accurate and reliable Parkinson's detection system. The assessment is conducted using the new hand PD dataset, validating the system's efficacy in surpassing established diagnostic methods. And we aim to demonstrate the practicality of a system in real clinical settings. By providing a reliable tool for early Parkinson's detection, we aspire to enable timely intervention, ultimately contributing to improved patient outcomes. This application in clinical environments not only validates the technology, but also enhances our understanding of the dynamics of Parkinson's disease in a real world context. Requirements needed to execute this project are Software requirements. Software needed is Anaconda. Primary language used is Python. Front-end framework used is Flask. Back-end framework used is Jupyter Notebook. Database used is SQLite 3. And front-end technologies used are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap 4. Hardware requirements needed are Operating system of Windows. Processor of i5 and above. RAM of 8 GB and above and hard disk of 25 GB and above. Now we'll discuss the working modules of law of work. So the first step is important required packages. This step involves bringing in necessary software packages, libraries and tools that will be used throughout the project. Commonly used packages include those for data manipulation like Pandas, machine learning frameworks such as sklearn, deep learning frameworks like TensorFlow or PyTorch and image processing libraries. 
The second step is exploring the data set. In this phase, we take a deep dive into the new hand PD data set, aiming to understand its structure and content thoroughly. This exploration is crucial for making informed decisions during subsequent data processing steps, providing valuable insights that guide our analysis. The third step is image processing. In this step, we use an image data generator to enhance input images for Parkinson's detection. Operations like rescaling, shear transformation, zooming, horizontal flipping, and reshaping diversify the data set. Feature extraction involves reading, resizing, color conversion, appending with labels, and converting to NumPy arrays. These steps prepare the data set for training deep learning models, ensuring accurate and early Parkinson's detection through handwriting analysis. The next step is feature extraction. So, in this step, ResNet 50 VGG19 Inception V3 Renault pre trained CNN architectures are employed to transform handwriting images into high level features. Each model contributes unique insights into Parkinson's related patterns. Additionally, an ensemble approach combines ResNet 50 VGG19 and Inception V3 features for a comprehensive understanding. This process is pivotal for capturing relevant information that will contribute to the accuracy of our Parkinson's detection model. The next step is train and test split. As we progress, we divide the dataset into training and testing sets. This step is fundamental in preparing our data for the training and evaluation phases, ensuring the robustness of our predictive model. The next step is training and building the model. So, in this step, handwriting features extracted from pre-trained CNN models are used to train machine learning algorithms, including k-nearest neighbors, improved KNN, random forest, support vector machines, and decision tree. And model performance is evaluated using metrics like accuracy and precision. And the algorithm demonstrating the highest performance is selected as the final model for accurate Parkinson's disease detection through handwriting analysis. And in the next step, that is extension phase, exception model is developed for feature extraction and a hybrid model that is voting classifier was created by combining predictions from multiple machine learning models for improved accuracy. And using the Flask framework, a user-friendly frontend is constructed. This interface is designed to facilitate user testing and includes features for secure user authentication, ensuring a smooth and protected user experience. So the next step is Flask framework with SQLite for sign up and sign in. In this step, we integrate user registration and login functionalities into the Flask framework. Users can sign up by providing their information and subsequently, they can securely log in using their credentials. This enhances system security and allows for personalized user experiences. So after signing in, users interact with the system by providing input, typically in the form of spiral handwriting images for disease analysis. So this input serves as the basis for the subsequent analysis. The provided images undergo pre-processing steps to enhance their quality and suitability for model predictions. The trained models are employed to make predictions based on the pre-processed input. Each model leverages the knowledge it gained during the training phase to provide predictions related to disease classification and detection within the given images. And the final predictions generated by the models are displayed through the front-end interface. Now we'll understand about the algorithms used. First, we'll discuss about the deep learning algorithms built for feature extraction. The first one is VGG19, that is short for Visual Geometry Group 19. So VGG19, a 19-layer deep convolutional neural network, is known for its simplicity and effectiveness in image classification. With a uniform structure and 3 by 3 convolutional filters, it excels at capturing intricate features. In this project, VGG19 is used for feature extraction from handwriting images, leveraging its depth to capture nuanced patterns relevant to Parkinson's disease detection. The next one is Inception V3. So it is also known as Google Net. It introduces Inception modules using filters of different sizes concurrently for enhanced feature extraction. This design allows the network to efficiently analyze complex handwriting patterns, contributing to precise Parkinson's disease detection through comprehensive feature extraction. 
the next algorithm built is resnet 50 that is short for residual network so resnet 50 with 50 layers employs residual learning to address the vanishing gradient problem skip connections enable more direct gradient flow making it effective in capturing hierarchical features In this project, ResNet Fifty is used for feature extraction, enhancing accuracy in detecting subtle indicators of Parkinson's disease from handwriting patterns. Now we'll discuss about the proposed combination of ResNet Fifty, VGG Nineteen, and Inception V Three model. So it is an ensemble architecture that combines the features extracted by three distinct pre-trained convolutional neural network models that are. ResNet 50 VGG 19 and Inception V3 by leveraging the unique strengths and diverse representations learned by each individual model the ensemble aims to enhance the overall understanding of complex patterns in handwriting images associated with parkinson's disease now we'll discuss about the machine learning algorithms built for classifications so the first one is k nearest neighbors that is knn So KNN classifies data points based on the majority class of their nearest neighbors. In this project, KNN leverages the proximity of handwriting features to determine if patterns indicative of Parkinson's disease are present, making it a simple and intuitive approach. The next algorithm built is improved KNN. So this approach enhances KNN by optimizing its hyperparameters through grid search cross validation. Grid search systematically explores hyperparameter combinations to fine tune knn improving its accuracy in detecting parkinson's based on handwriting features the next one is support vector machines that is svm so svm works by finding a hyperplane that best separates different classes in a high dimensional feature space in this project svm is applied to create an optimal decision boundary leveraging the extracted handwriting features for accurate parkinson's detection the next algorithm built is random forest so random forest constructs multiple decision trees and combines their outputs through voting each tree is trained on a subset of data and features providing robustness against overfitting in parkinson's detection random forest excels in capturing complex relationships within handwriting data The last algorithm built is decision tree. So decision tree classifies data by recursively splitting it based on the most informative features. In this project decision trees contribute to interpretability by revealing key features in handwriting associated with parkinson's aiding in understanding the decision making process. Now we'll see the comparison graphs of the deep learning models built for feature extraction. So this is the horizontal bar graph comparing accuracies of different algorithms. In this graph on x axis I have accuracy scores and on y axis I have algorithm names. Accuracy measures the overall correctness of predictions showing the percentage of correctly classified instances. This is precision scores comparison graph in this graph on x axis I have precision scores and on y axis i have algorithm names so precision measures the accuracy of positive predictions indicating how many predicted positives were actually correct this is recall scores comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have recall scores and on y axis i have algorithm names so recall measures the ability to identify all relevant instances showing how many actual positives were correctly predicted and this is f1 scores comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have f1 scores and on y axis i have algorithm names so f1 score combines precision and recall into a single metric balancing accuracy and completeness in predictions so the algorithm which is best performing in all the performance metrics will be used for predictions and we can see extension exception model is doing well when compared to all other models in this particular project Now we'll see the comparison graphs of the machine learning algorithms built. This is the accuracy scores comparison graph. This is precision scores comparison graph. This is recall scores comparison graph and this is F1 scores comparison graph. So these are the machine learning algorithms built using features extracted using extension exception model. And these are the machine learning models built using features extracted using proposed ensemble model. So we can see algorithms built using exception extracted features are doing well. 
execution of the project. To execute this project, first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files. So this is dataset folder in which I have healthy spiral and patient spiral images folders. So I'm opening the healthy spiral folder in which I have these healthy spiral images. And in patient spiral folder, I have these patient spiral images. So on these images, we will train the models. This is sample folder in which I have healthy spiral and patient spiral images on which we will make the predictions. This is static folder. It consists of files related to CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap. This is templates folder. This folder contains all the HTML pages used in the project. It typically includes files like index.html, about.html, etc. which represent different pages of the website. This is app.py file. This .py file contains the information related to frontend logic. It includes code written in Python that handles server-side operations such as processing user requests, interacting with the database and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the HTML pages. These are model files which contain algorithm information. These files will be loaded into the project code during runtime to utilize the trained models. This is notebook Jupyter source file which contains a combination of code, graphs and outputs all in one place. It allows users to write and execute code in individual cells, making it a popular choice for data science. And this is signup.db file. This file is the database file used to store user information. So now copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. I'm copying it. Open Anaconda prompt. So use the command cd followed by a space and paste the copied path and hit the enter button. So this command is used to change the current directory to the code folders path. So now compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py. I'm typing python space app.py and hit the enter button. So this command will execute the Python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues. After running the app.py file, the Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address, local host and port unless configured differently. Now copy the local link provided by the framework. I'm copying it and paste it into any web browser. I prefer Chrome. After pasting it, hit the enter button. So the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser. This is the front end built using Flask framework. So here we can see a sign up link, click on it. So if you are new users, we have to register first, fill in all these details and click on sign up button to register. And if we already have an account, we can directly log in by clicking on the sign in link. So as I already have an account, I'm clicking on this link. So here we have to provide our credentials, username and password. and click on sign in button. So it has redirected us to the detection page. So here we have to upload the spiral image and the application will classify it as either diagnosed with Parkinson's disease or not. So click on choose file button. From sample images folder, I'm selecting this image and click on open. So the image is loaded, now click on upload button. So this is the uploaded image and for this image, it has predicted it as patient is not diagnosed with Parkinson's disease based on input spiral image. So this person does not have the Parkinson's disease. Now click on try again link. We'll try giving another image. Click on choose file button. This time I'm giving this image and click on open. So the image is loaded. Now click on upload button. So this is the uploaded image and here we can see the prediction that is the patient is diagnosed with Parkinson's disease based on the input spiral image. So this person have the Parkinson's disease. Click on try again link. We'll try again. Click on choose file button. This time I'm giving this image and click on open. The image is loaded. Now click on upload button. So here we can see the prediction that is the patient is not diagnosed with Parkinson's disease based on the input spiral image. So similarly, we can give any spiral image and can get the detections. Now click on sign out link. So the conclusion here is 
This project was undertaken to improve the early detection of Parkinson's disease by leveraging handwriting analysis. Traditional diagnostic methods face limitations prompting the exploration of innovative, non-invasive approaches. By focusing on subtle handwriting changes as potential early indicators, the project aimed to contribute to healthcare by developing a more accurate and timely diagnostic tool for Parkinson's disease, ultimately enhancing patient outcomes. The project utilized the deep learning architectures VGG19, Inception V3, ResNet50, and Exception to extract intricate features from handwriting data. The extracted features are used to train various machine learning algorithms for enhanced performance. Evaluation metrics were utilized to assess the effectiveness of these models in accurately detecting Parkinson's disease with a focus on refining strategies for optimal results. The exception-based models across KNN, improved KNN, Random Forest, SVM, Decision Tree, and Voting Classifier achieved perfect scores across all metrics when compared to the proposed Ensemble model. The exceptional performance of exception suggests its efficacy in capturing subtle patterns within handwriting data, highlighting its potential for accurate Parkinson's detection. The primary beneficiaries of this project are individuals at risk of or exhibiting early signs of Parkinson's disease. The developed tool holds the potential to assist healthcare professionals in early and non-invasive detection, allowing for timely intervention and improved patient outcomes. And Flask framework ensures a user-friendly front-end, integrating secure user authentication with SQLite for privacy. The practical interface supports easy data input, result observation, and predictions, making the tool valuable for early Parkinson's detection in clinical settings with real world impact. Thank you for watching video. For more projects, please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, Please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.